folks, welcome back to my channel. This is Riseway Stormcraft, and today, once again, some more Pokemon Red Randomized Nuzlocke Red version. As I said already before, I said red, so I've said it twice. Sorry. Anywho, we saw in the last episode Ali, the monster that Ali is, just basically took out Team Rocket by himself. So now what we are going to do is we are going to go do a quick heal up and head into Saffron City Gym to see if we can get our sixth badge. Hopefully we can. But now that all the big, big stuff is over with, now it's just us focusing on the badges and everything else, getting them done, and go then going after the Elite Four. So, if we can, provided we don't lose. <laughs> As you can see, we have quick team recap here. We have Ali at level 40 with 143 attack, 59 defense, 89 speed, and 63 special with cut, mega punch, karate chop, and seismic toss. We have our Munchos, our Snorlax at level 34 with Attack 57, defensive 89, speed of 109. He is a fast big boy. And special of 56. With headbutt, strength, rest, and gust. Then we have Mr. Krabs, our Kingler. With an attack of 79, defensive 76, speed of 39, special of 73. With Crab Hammer, Blizzard, Surf, and Mega Drain. Just in case we run into a water type, he has that move to take care of them. Along with Lightning, who. It's coming up right now with an attack of 102, defense of 109, speed of 55, and special of 81, with Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, Quick Attack, and Thunder Shock. Next we have Einstein, our Alakazam, with an attack of 93, defense of 51, speed of 65, and special of 85, with Psychic, Confusion, Recover, and Psy Beam. Last but not least, we have, whoops, Blinding Flash, Lights the Area, hit the wrong button there. We have... Our Moltres with an attack of 64, defense of 51, speed of 87, and special of 101 with Fly, Sky Attack, Fire Punch, and Flash. As we move right along our little system here, oh boy, getting ready to go into the sixth badge, so we're going to see if we can do this here. Oops. I walked right into the statue. That was very, very smart of me. I think I'm going to leave Ali out front. I don't really want to turn this into a solo, uh, solo run, but however, Ali is just the monster that he is. So, Sabrina so you know, said, she's also our leader. You won't reach her easily. Okay, buddy, whatever you say. He's got three Pokemon, and his first is a Pinsir at level 33. And, wow, nearly took it out in one hit. Seismic Toss, oh boy. Yikes, okay, well, one more Cry Chop should take that out. About to use Nidorino. Karate Chop again, and, wow. Really. These guys almost have a very, very high defense. Use cut to finish it up. Good boy. And about to use Diglett. Hey, one of our Pokemon that we have not seen yet, Diglett, has just come onto the field. We've seen Doug Drill, but we have not seen Diglett. I don't think Growl's going to save you, Diglett. Indeed, it didn't. Alright, so that takes care of that. 547, Rye defeated Psychic. Psychic, I lost my concentration. Well, you lost more than that. You lost the battle too, so have a great day, sir. Moving right along to the next area up. You know that power alone isn't enough. True, it's power and strategy. Which luckily for me, I have both, and I have Pokemon that can actually cover most of their weaknesses. Which, if you're going to use a Muck, I'm not going to use Ali, and I'm going to bring in Einstein, who is my Alakazam, since it is strong against poison types.
Boom. That minimize is not going to save you, buddy. I'm sorry. Poison gas just poisoned Einstein. Using psychic again to take care of it, and poof, it be gone. Ali is level 41. Good. About to use Execute. Okay, that means we shall choose Phoenix. Use a quick Fire Punch against it. And voila! Execute is down. One hit. KO. <laughs> Done. I don't believe this. Well, you just lost. Sorry, buddy. So sorry. You better believe it. All right. So we're gonna head down here, get a full heal, and heal up Einstein real quick. Since Ali is level 41, we need to start leveling other people up. I think I'm gonna put Munchos out front just to see what he can do. Moving on up. All right. Next trainer. Does our unseen power scare you? No, it does not. If it scared me, I would be running for my life. Especially with your Pokemon being a Magikarp. That Pokemon does not scare me whatsoever. Now a Gyarados, that would scare me. All right, Munchos, use the power of your backside and use Gus to finish off this Poliwhirl. And goodbye, Poliwhirl. Munchos is also another crit monster. Good lord. All right, now we got Slower, another Pokemon that we have not seen. So we are now at 149 Pokemon seen out of 151. That is a re legitimately really awesome. Use Gust. Alright, go back to Headbutt. Pink. Good. Slowbro is done. Finished. About to use Abra. Okay, well, this Abra should be alright to go bippity boppity bye bye. Nope, not quite yet. It hung in there by the skin of his teeth. Use Strength and get that thing up out. Nope, not yet. You just teleport again, and guess what? It ain't gonna work. Use it one more time, and goodbye, Abra. All right. First ever Psychic Pokemon in the Psychic Gym it is now finished. I never foresaw this. Well, yeah, to be honest, buddy, I'm surprised you never did. Oops. Back up here. All right, so maybe it's right here. Ah, yes, it is. All right, so we're gonna be working our way down now. So much as is going to stay out front. Sanford Pokemon Gym is famous for its psychics. You want to see Sabrina? I can tell. Well, yes, anyone that comes to this gym wants to see Sabrina because they want their sixth badge. Sent out a Hitmonchan. That is a punchy McPistacuffer, so I'm going to take out my shows and bring in Phoenix. Yeah, Fire Punch is probably not going to hurt Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix is a Moltres for a reason. Coming back down with Fly and nearly takes out, takes it out. Ice Punch, now that could hurt. Okay, that did hurt, but not as badly as I thought it would. Phoenix takes down the Hitmonchan. And Phoenix is down level 36. Awesome. Okay, we are now in the middle. Munchos is still decent, so we're good. Sabrina is younger than I, but I respect her. Well, that's good that you respect her. If the world had more respect, the world would get along a whole lot easier. 
and now everything's starting to look like I'm going into the sun because it's just gleaming off me right now. That water gun did a critical hit on us, so if it wasn't a crit, how much is it going to do? Not that much. Okay, well, let's use some strength on it. Get down on it. Get down on it. Alright, so, uh, you know what? We're just going to switch out to Mr. Krabs. Munchos is asleep, so we got to bring something in that can deal with this polyrath. Good freaking lord. Oh, and of course it goes for the hypnosis. Gotta love it. And instant Mr. Krabs wakes up. Mr. Krabs smelt his money being taken from him. It's like, nope, gotta wake up. Munchos is about to learn body slam. Oh dear Christ. Okay, well... You know what? It's time for his fart biscuits to go bye-bye. He's not learning body slam. His air biscuits are now gone. Alright, so now we shall bring in lightning to hopefully take care of this Meowth. Thunderbolt away! Nearly finished it, but with Payday, we'll get a little, little extra raise in our cash here. So, quick attack, finish it off. And goodbye, Meowth. Trust me, lady, you are good enough. It's just that my Pokemon are a little bit stronger and more well trained. All right, so we're going to quickly heal up Munchos. We are going to heal up Ali. Prince Ali, fabulous he, Ali, Ababa. <laughs> up we go. All right, so we already battled that dude. Okay, back over here. Whoops. Back over here. All right, now we're going to go down here. And voila. All right. Pokemon take on the appearance of their trainers. Your Pokemon must be tough then. I hope my Pokemon are tough, otherwise I would never have made it this far. I doubt I'd make it this far if I had just Caterpie. Hello, Blastoise! And we got the pair on the body slam. Awesome. And Munchos is going to get a decent win on that Blastoise, even though it's three levels lower. I knew it! Of course you knew it. I'm trying to use an Ultra Ball to heal my Pokemon like that's going to happen. Okay. You and I, our Pokemon shall fight. No duh. <laughs> That's why I came here. <laughs> I thought our Pokemon were just going to kiss and make up. Why don't you kiss Norlax Wurmp Roast? It's an Ekans! And backwards, it spells, it's a snake! That's a snake, a snake, a snake. Poliwhirl. Okay, well, let's bring Poliwhirl back to the field. Alright, body slam it. And. Oh, almost. It's a body slamming war. It's WWE all over again. Unfortunately, Snorlax can body slam you just a little harder. 
I lost after all. No debt. A hill, a hill, a hill. Gorsh, do you know what it's like to lose now? Okay, now trying to find the right teleporter to get me to Sabrina is going to be the tough one of the bunch. Um, where exactly am I going? Okay, well, here? Trying to find the stupid thing is like, hey, there we go, finally. All right, so let's heal up our Pokemon real fast. Okay, so. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic power since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons in my mind. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Creepy. Okay. It's a Rhyhorn! Okay. Well, that's an easy start off. We'll switch out to Mr. Krabs, surf you, and hope we'll be down in one hit. Stop, however. Oh, okay, good. And done. Good. Much is now level 36. Awesome. About to use Charizard. Well, Mr. Krabs, you're staying it. Ouch. Okay. Wow, it, sur it legit survived the surf. Okay. Well, it shouldn't survive that. Alright. So she's had two pretty tough Pokemon there. Now a pincer. Phoenix should have no problem taking that thing out. Yep. Boom. Right. Oh, or Phoenix missed. God almighty. Okay. Time for Fire Punch then. Okay. And we get the burn. Gotta love it. Hurt by its burn. Good, good, good. Another Fire Punch to finish off the pincer. About to bring out a Snorlax, eh? All right. Level 43. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's not too much higher than our Ollie. Ollie used Karate Chup. Okay, wow, a critical hit it, and yeah. Alrighty then. Seismic Toss, bang. One more Seismic Toss, and this battle is over. It lived. And it goes right into rest. Oh my god. You're prolonging the inevitable, lady. Your Snorlax is going down. Just let it happen. Oh my god.
Can we get a crit? Did it wake up and see his death? Yes, it did! Good. We now hold our sixth badge. I'm shocked, but a loss is a loss. I admit, I didn't work hard enough to win. You earned the Marsh Badge. <sighs> Strong Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much. Wait, please take this TM with you. TM 46. It's Stomp. Okay. That's just the point of actually making it back to where I was. Oh my lord, we're going to be at this forever. <laughs> There we go, we're out of here. Alright. Finally. The sixth badge is now ours. We own it, we live it, we breathe it, we... Ah, smell it. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. But the badge is definitely ours. We fought for it. This train still keeps moving. So, we've hit a few bumps in the road, but it hasn't really pulled us down any. Our Pokemon are hanging in there. They're playing tough. Alright, so I think for the last part of this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... I do have the Master Ball, so I'm going to go visit the Power Plant. And there is static Pokemon in there. There is random encounters too, so... Cerulean? Yeah, it's up right outside Cerulean City. My brain is not working at the moment, so... Now, the legendaries can also be static random encounters over random Pokemon at that level. But if it's a Pokemon that we really want, we might just use the Master Ball because who knows? We'll see what happens. We head over here and we go up here and we stop right here. Hop on Kingler so we can use Surf. And we're going to head right down to the power plant. And park right here. There we go. There's going to be a trainer right down here that's probably going to want to battle us unless we walk past him. I'm not going to worry about him. I'm going to walk right by him. There we go. Alright. Want a super potion? Okay, we'll definitely take that. Okay. And that's our random encounter for this one. It's an Arbok, level 20. Well, I'm just going to check an Ultra Ball and... Oh, really? The box is full. you got to be kidding me. So we just wasted that encounter on the stupid box being full. Oh, luckily I didn't go after the uh, Legendary yet. And, of course, this guy just snipes us when we walk out. Ugh, I don't want to see your collection, buddy. 
I really don't want to see your collection here because your collection is probably shite. Of course, it is shite. It's an Ekans. It's an Ekans, as they say in Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium 2. They don't say Ekans, they say Ekans. Oh boy, you have an Ekans and a Pikachu. I've already caught the Pikachu, but not the Ekans. Could have had an Arbok, but dum dum me, you know, forgets. Oh wait, we gotta change our box out. I thought we were on box two, but apparently we were not. So we're gonna go up and try to get that done real quick. Come down here, get the encounter, and we'll call it a day after that. Bank. There we go. All right. Roll over here, and down here, up and over. Two here, turn on the PC. Change box, yes. Two box, two. There. Because I know box two ain't full. Want Munchos to use strength? I want Mr. Krabs to use surf. Okay. All right, back down we go. At least we already fought this guy, so we don't have to worry about him anymore. Okay, so after the Zapdos we go. Even though it might not be a Zapdos, it might be some other completely different Pokemon. There's also Gyarados in here. Nice to know. And it knows Dragon Rage. Oh dear Christ, I'm running right now. This is a static encounter, so, and it's a Venomoth at level four. Whoa. Okay, buddy. I think you just need to calm down a little tad bit there, buddy boy. All right, so what we're going to do is he's going to do that. We're going to hit another strength. Bring him down, yep, into the red. Poison powder, okay, so he did not reach life as a beast. So now we're going to throw an Ultra Ball at him. One, two, three, great. Venomoth was caught. Awesome. Make me the Venomoth. M O T H R A Mothra. Now that's the only static one we can catch for in here, so. Full we'll heal. Munchos, thank you. Gyarados and such a Dragon Rage, I am getting the hell out of here. It's not busy. Yes, it is. It's not busy. It is an Onyx, so we could have found any single one of them and possibly captured it. Good. How many are there in here? Oh, hello, Electabuzz. That's actually a Electric type. I 
except I'm only interested in catching Zapdos, or whatever we find. Another one! That's an Nidorino. Wow. We could have had a level 4 Nato King, but I just held on to my Moonstone. Oh well. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Level 20 Arbok is back. Hitmonchan. Radicate. Another Radicate. <laughs> Zapdos, you gotta clear out your room there, but you have a bunch of different types in here. A Slowbro's in here. Another Arbok. I might come back in here strictly for training purposes, but thank you for the escape room. We'll definitely be using that to get the heck out of here after we get to the encounter. I believe Zapdos is right over here, so... Right. And the Beedro pops up. And voila. And what are you going to be? It was Mewtwo, the genetic Pokemon. Height 6 foot 7, weight 269 pounds. It was created by the scientists after years of horrific gene splicing and DNA engineering experiments. So you want to go to anything with Mewtwo? Yes, I do. We shall give you the nickname of... Psycho. Okay, we're going to use the escape rope. Get out of there. That's going to be the end of this video. I hope you all like and subscribe to that because we now have that beautiful Pokemon to possibly add to our team. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Take care, folks, especially when you go outside, do all that stuff. Bye.